Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today, it is a very rainy afternoon for us, uh, and we got a bunch of uh, KK shopping stuff. We got KK Disco. Oh yeah, we have all the uh, seasonal stuff that we purchased in the last episode as we checked out all the new things new in June. Um, and also, we got a message from Reese and Cyrus. Okay, uh, dear Zebra, hey Squirt, thanks a bunch for all the help on the big photo shoot. Your wedding decoration is attached, so the one you traded your heart crystals for, yeah? You better take care of it, Reese and Cyrus. So I might start doing those again and again, you know, like between episodes or something. Oh, Stu, uh, Zebra the letter writer. <laughs> I like writing letters because it makes me think about how my grandma wrote letters before, uh, before people quit writing letters. Write a letter, Zebra! Be like my grandma! She smelled good. Stu. I'm sure she did. Um, that's so cool. So yeah, we'll be running around today and seeing what's going on. Um, it looks like the fruit is grown back on the tree, so we'll definitely be able to collect some of that. That'll be awesome. And also, uh, I'm sure there'll be fossil spots. I did play yesterday, so you know we should be all caught up with some stuff, but yeah, we got KK Disco, up the register that, Handmade Cape. I will equip this stuff now, just to sort of take a look at it. Um, and then also the one uh, decoration we got, uh, the wedding decoration. And then also we have the wedding bench from before. So if we uh, equip this, ta-da! And then also Handmade Crown, pretty cool looking. I think it's for International Children's Day or something like that. I didn't even know that was a holiday, so it's pretty interesting. Uh, but either way, there we go. And then there's also the uh, Thank You Dad mug for Father's Day, which we turn that around. Right there has a little tie. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get our shovel and get to work today. I have a lot of fruit to get. Lots of fossils as well, so that should be cool. Also catch up with the villagers and stuff. I'll probably end up traveling to different islands in today's episode if there's not anything too major happening around the town. Not really sure if there will be or not, but we'll find out. Oh, there's a little snail. Do we have snails? I don't know. What? What? Really? Oh. Hopefully another one shows up soon then, because I don't know, that, that was, I think that might be the first, no. Maybe we found snails and rocks before, I'm not really sure. Either way, I do see over, oh no, this way. Hold on, boom, got it. Uh, let's try this out, what do we got in here? Got a present of some sort and then we'll talk to Gigi, who's out in the rain. 10,000 bells, what a great start. Okay, let's talk to you. Well, hello there, Rebet. Uh, what's the latest? I hope you have something exciting planned for today. It can be quite invigorating to change your routine. Yeah, I'm gonna be trying to go to different islands and see if we can't find new villagers. Do you need me for something? Uh, I wanna chat. Ooh, Zebra, I hear you earned some ridiculous numbers on Nook Miles yesterday. It's just so satisfying to save up those miles, isn't it? I suppose I'd best get on it myself, Rebet. I agree, it can be fun. It can also help us enrich the community by giving us uh, something to, you know, buy, I guess. <laughs> you know, we can buy all the different, like, park details like we already have and fencing and stuff. And hopefully, you know, more stuff will become available there eventually. I don't really know if that's something that happens, but it would be cool. Either way, uh, we have plenty of fruit to get around here, and I'm hoping that if we go out to islands, we'll find more fruit that we have yet to find. That would make me really happy if, if we could do that. But, ooh, what's going on now? Um, so I guess we're hitting the rock. We get uh, times five, or times two. Uh, do we have a times five for today? No, we don't. Um, grow fruit trees, I'll work on it. Capture a memory should be pretty easy. Um, yeah, it's, uh, no, wait, I'm not done. <laughs> I wanna keep playing. Uh, there we go. Pretty quick, right? Uh, just so that that's out of the way, we have room for other things. And we'll try to get the 50,000 miles today. That's insane when you think about it. Um, chop down a tree, won't be chopping down these trees, but we'll definitely chop down a tree at some point. Uh, but yeah, we should be able to make a good chunk of money from this. That's why I'm curious, if we collect all the specialty fruits, uh, how much money can we really make in one go? Very curious about that. But for right now, I'm just gonna knock all this down. Well, not knock it down, but shake it down, I guess. Lots of pears and cherries, which honestly are some of my favorite fruits. I mean, I, know, I think that my favorite fruit is probably still banana, but pears and cherries are definitely not far behind. Also cantaloupe, but I don't, did cantaloupes come from trees? I actually don't know how cantaloupes are grown, but not from the ground. I think melons are from trees typically, right? Um, I mean, like a pineapple tree. Is a pineapple a melon? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. There's a lot of fruit terminology I'm apparently not familiar with. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll have to find this stuff out soon. I mean, obviously, coconuts grow from trees. We get those from the palm trees. So it's not like a fruit that big can't be grown. I mean, I know some of them are sort of more like vines. They grow from vines that come out of the ground, right? Like, that's how watermelons are. 
I don't know, I've never been too big into gardening, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Interesting. I know that definitely that's how pumpkins work. You know, I have little pumpkin patches. And they just all have a like, big vine that they grow out of, which is really cool when you think about it. Anyways, we'll keep looking around for um, different fruits. Oh, we have oranges around here, quite a lot of them, I believe. Doing things in a little bit of a different order. Typically, I, I check out this part towards the end, but now I'm here first. I wonder if Fred is here today. It doesn't look like it, but we'll run over and check a little bit more. Okay, nope, no red today. But, you know, I'm hoping that there's still at least somebody around, either it be CJ or Flick or um, Kicks or Leaf or somebody. I just really want to see somebody, you know, running around today. That would be cool. Okay, let's try this out. And I think we have, yeah, one more orange tree over this way. And we should only have four fossil spots laying around today, so we'll definitely have to get to those. So far, so good. Definitely, I'm gonna be able to make a good chunk of cash just from the fruit trees. We made a lot of money last episode, but I'll definitely be putting some of it towards the bridge in today's episode. Um, it's just been something I've been meaning to work on for a while, so I would love to do that. So let's get back out of here and start looking around this way. We got more flowers to grab. How is our inventory doing? It's getting full. I, I like hearing the pitter-patter of the rain on what I think is the tin roof. Uh, well, I don't know if it's tin, but it's some kind of like metal roof of uh, Nook's Cranny. That's a cool sound. And then over this way, yep, there's a, quite a few more cherry trees. There we go. And there we go. This one's a little more separated from the rest of them. We might want to move that soon, just so we can make more room for more trees. But for right now, it works just fine the way it is. But definitely, it seems like it's worth the investment to turn most of our real estate into uh, into like fruit tree areas. <laughs> so I'll keep working on that. Some of these trees could probably be dug up though. Because they're sort of uh, just chilling here. I don't think they're fruit trees, so. I'll probably, oh, that would maybe a new bug there on that tree. I gotta stop running around like that. Because I know I need to chop down a tree for a uh, Nook Miles. I think. Uh, yeah, it just didn't go off for some reason. There we go. And, do we have anything else going on? Not looking like it, okay. So back over this way then, we have a orange tree. And then after this, oh, I do see a fossil spot right down there. So I will gladly grab that in just a second. Just making sure I'm grabbing as many of these flowers as possible since that's also some extra, uh, extra bells here and there. And there we go. So we got fossil number two. Gonna put that away for a second. Shake this orange tree up a little bit. And yeah, let's just make sure that we're doing our thing here. It is good to you know do this every couple of days. And it gives us time to, oh, I won't have the room for this in my pockets if I pluck it, so I'll just leave it the way it is. Okay, so it looks like our inventory's full. We're going over to uh, Timmy and Tommy in just a second, but I figure we should ch chat with some people here. Oh my gosh, it's Zebra. What's the latest? To be, to be totes honest, this is the time of day when I get the sleepiest, especially when it's like rainy and somber like this. Zebra, do you need something? Uh, this is for you, I wanna give her a flower. You're giving me a thing? Uh, yep, I'm going to give you some yellow tulips. Aw, such pretty yellow tulips. I'll use these to decorate. A poster for my first concert, poster board, glitter glue, and these flowers. I'm glad. Also, we haven't checked the bulletin board in a while. Yeah, there's been not really too much. It's weird, because we had Stu's birthday, and then there has not been like anybody else's birthday. I mean, maybe they just all are like born later in the year, I suppose. Or I guess much earlier in the year. So how are things with you? Uh, let's talk. You know, <laughs> I'm always seeing you running around here willy-nilly. Be careful you don't slip and fall. Thanks, I appreciate you looking out for me. Um, I'll try to be careful. Oh yeah, that's right. My pockets are still full. Oh, there's that bug though. We definitely don't have that one. So let me go ahead and drop something. Um, I'll just drop one piece of wood. I'll pick it up later, of course. But for right now, don't scare it off, Roth. Gotta be ready for it. Go. Nice, okay, so what is this? Um, a drone beetle. Shouldn't you have more propellers? Oh, because you know, like a drone. <laughs> Interesting. Um, there's another snail, too. Uh, once again, I'll just drop this wood because I should be able to pick that up later. Oh, got it. 
I caught a snail, it's not much to brag about. Yeah, I think we've caught a snail before, but it's always good to make sure. And there's two more snails chilling out now. So they're all over the place now. Um, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and donate that really quickly before I forget. Uh, he's not gonna be happy about it, but gotta make that donation. I'll worry about the, the, the fossils later. For right now, let's just give him this beetle. So, uh, yep, I would love to hear more. Ah, I see. In that case, ahem. I must say, the drone beetle is like that boorish acquaintance who is much too loud for polite company. That is, it is it is a large bug with a square head and is so named for the droning noise it makes when it flies. Furthermore, it has hooks on its feet that help it cling tightly to trees. Hook feet, how gosh. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. Alrighty then, so there we go. Uh, that is another donation for the bugs. I'm fine. And let's keep moving. So definitely good to make a little bit more progress there. And of course, we'll hopefully make more progress throughout you know this month and getting more fossils and stuff would be good. But for right now, since my inventory is full, I would love to talk to Timmy and Tommy, sell some stuff, maybe look for some stuff to buy as well. That would be cool. Let's see for ourselves. Oh, hey, Kyle. Hello, hello. I feel like all the villagers have been inside of the, uh, the shop recently. Yeah, they're just selling stuff here now. That was just an upgrade that just happened. Ah, no summer is complete without a surfboard. That's true. I'm just not sure. Oh, look at this stereo system. Wow, okay. Well, first off, I gotta sell stuff. Um, I wanna sell. Of course, what exactly are you offering? Um, I am offering today uh, flowers, shells, fruits, you name it. Of course, this isn't like the entire town worth of fruits, but it's like the, 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 more, the majority of the specialty fruits are here. Um, sure. So that is going to be 27,000 battles. Pretty nice little uh, payment there. I appreciate it. And let's see what else you guys have. A toaster? I need the toaster. That seems like you're interested in a pop-up toaster. Let's see. That's 2,300 battles. What do you think? I'll buy it. Um, so there we go. On top of that, what are you looking at now? Well, look what's in stock right now. A high-end stereo. Yeah, I might buy that. Anyways, seems like you're interested in a menu chalkboard. Uh, those are in limited supply, so act if you're serious. 1,800 bells. I like it. I wish that there were some restaurants. I feel like, I don't know if, maybe there are restaurants at some point. Maybe we should buy this so that we can decorate one. I thought that'd be cool, so I'm just gonna get it. There we go. Um, on top of that, over this way, high-end stereo. Uh, 10,000 bells. I'm spending a lot of money today, but I really like this one. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kyle. I was like, what? Oh, he's so surprised. Do a little shopping, eh? Uh, let's chat. You ever just casually stop in a store and end up falling in love with something? And then you have to buy it. Oh, if it's the only way to shop. I, I guess. I mean, I, I don't think so. You shouldn't really... I mean, I know I do it a lot in this game, but in real life, this is a loom, by the way. How much is this? How much is it? 13, it's actually not that much more, but I'll take a pass. I don't need a loom. Uh, I know I do it a lot in this game, but in real life, I try not to impulse shop. If there's something I really want, and I see it in the store, and I'm like, oh, I really want that, and if it's not like absolutely necessary, usually I'm like, okay, well, if in a week I still want it just as bad as I do now and don't totally forget about it, then I could probably look into getting it. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, everything's looking pretty good in here, but nothing I need. So I think that's gonna be it for right now. So I'll go back to, uh, my house and probably put some stuff away, but we spent 5,000 bells, so that's 400 miles. Uh, but we'll organize our inventory and then we'll get back to uh, looking around for some more stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out um, the new KK Slider song we got, but also on top of that, I might take this so that we can set up the um, fancier high-end stereo. I know I need to organize this room a little bit more, but um, so far, you know, I'm having fun with that. Uh, Okay, yeah, pull it out like this, son. Can I still not? Really? Weird. Uh, I'm just trying to, <laughs> this is not working out. You know, actually, let me go into it like this then. No, what, what's the button to change it? Here it is. Um, Cause I know I can do this. It's just awkward sometimes with the controls. There we go, plenty of room. But yeah, this one's nice and high end, very fancy. Uh, we're going to register our new song. It is KK Disco. And we'll take a listen to this one. 
Oh, I've heard of this one. This one's a classic. Oh yeah, you know what? Pashmina has this in her room. It definitely fits her. All right then, so yeah, with that done, we are going to, uh, I think, be good for right now. I can go ahead and put away this portable record player. Um, and we'll just keep looking around the island. We have plenty of more spots to check out, of course, so let's get to it. <clears throat> so right over this way, right away, we have some stuff. I might wanna get out my stone ax just so that we can start collecting with this. Um, you know, just make a little bit of wood here and there, as per usual, should be fun. And eventually I wanna have an episode where we start looking for fish and stuff. I'm hoping that's where if we go to um, a new uh, island, we'll find a good host of new fish. Usually that's what happens, is that we find a lot of new fish uh, because there's just so many fish that pop up on the islands. And hopefully one more villager, because I think that's what we're looking for. One more villager until we're complete with it. Um, we have nine right now, so that would be really cool. Speaking of which, if I see any of the villagers I haven't talked to yet today, I will definitely get to it. Just sort of start ch chatting with them and see how they're doing. But definitely just trying to grab some flowers to make some extra bells. We've already made 27,000 today, and like I said, if we have any extra cash, I'm going to be mostly putting that towards, um, what is it? Um, mostly putting that towards the bridge. Uh, there's Lionel. We'll go and talk to him, because we already talked to Roth and uh, Apple here. Alrighty then, let me just keep grabbing these. I'll collect on my way over. He doesn't seem like he's gonna be anywhere in a rush. I do like his, uh, his rain outfit though. Oh, they're chatting right now? Okay, I might just leave them be to do that then. Um, don't want to interrupt. Even though I am curious. Uh, let's go over this way though. There were a couple of oranges that I can grab as well while we're waiting for them just to keep chatting. They're still talking. Maybe I should go over and say hi. Can I like hear what they're saying? Uh. Whoa, this is the worst, I'm going home. This is all your fault, Lionel, what happened? What did he say? I'm so sorry. I never meant to upset you. Why did you tell me you'd never play Space Hammer Blaster? I made my victory feel worthless. I lost and I got frustrated. Instead of admitting defeat, I said I'd never played before. The truth is, I was impressed by your skills. I could barely react to any of your moves. It was, wow. Wow, huh? I like the sound of that. Tell you what, you can make it up to me by playing again. <laughs> okay, well it looks like it's all solved. Hi, Lionel. Hey, what's a good word? Uh, what's the latest? <laughs> it's that time of day when I really want a snack, but I don't want to ruin my appetite either. That's always a tough thing. I always find it worth it to wait in those times. Hey, what'd you up to precisely? Uh, let's chat. I hear you've been racking up Nook Miles like crazy. I hope you get something really cool and exclusive when you trade them in, precisely. All right then, I definitely will try to. At the least, we will get um, a ticket so that we can go crazy places and see crazy things. That's the hope. I mean, hopefully meet a new villager, like I said. Still, I'm gonna do that at least one island tonight. You know, that's my main goal. But also, we still haven't found the money rock today either, so we should definitely be able to make some spare cash. I'm curious too, maybe we should check out, even if we don't have any turnips, I should probably start checking how much um, the turnips are going for so that I can get a range of understanding. 436 was so much last episode, but maybe does it go higher than that? Is that an average? Is that something? I wouldn't think so from how I, I, I understand other people talk about uh, the, the turnip situations, um, but I don't really know. There's another one of those beetles. Oh, and Flick is here. Hey, Flick, how you doing? Oh, hey, remember me, Flick? The guy who loves bugs and all their skittery chittery, sometimes glittery glory? I'm, t I'm still looking for my soul bug. Yep, yep, yep. All right then, so. I will definitely sell some bugs to you. I don't do. I don't think I have any bugs to sell. Maybe another time. Uh, oh, yeah, of course. But if you know, I, I'll be here until 5 a.m. tomorrow. That's pretty early. So, let's go ahead and grab this one real quick. We'll try to catch more bugs soon. But for right now, whoop, I'll just take this one. Um, and if we see any more, more bugs, we'll start selling them. It's a shame that whatever bugs I did sell earlier, um, are just, <laughs> I didn't sell them to him, but I didn't know he was here, so I can only do so much about that. In the meantime, though, I will dig there, and dig, okay, not there, but here, and see if this is money rock. It's not, but it could have been. 
Okay, so this only leaves a couple more spots for there to potentially be a money rock, so we'll keep looking for that. Like I said, whenever we get the chance, we'll donate to the bridge. I think it still needs like another 100,000 bells, so we're, we're working on it. It might be a couple of days before it's done. Then we can just start going all in with our, um, what is it called? We can go all in with our house expansion. The next one's gonna be quite expensive. I think it's like 750,000 bells, so yeah, I'll work on it. <laughs> That's for sure, it'll take some time. Grabbing some of this, so that's good. And then over this way. Try not to accidentally grab the, the sand castle like I normally do. Now let's go and talk to Biff. Uh, well, actually, one more archery. But then we can go and talk to Biff. I haven't really said much to him today, so. Oh, do you have a flea on you? You do have a flea on you. Whoop, got it. You're welcome. I didn't know frogs could get fleas, but there we go. The curse has been lifted. <laughs> Flick is already like, hey, did you say flea? <laughs> Oh, mercy, I had fleas I didn't even realize. I thought I was so fresh and clean and fleeless. Zebra, you are a tremendous help. Thank you so much, Rebet. No problem. Uh, let's talk to you. When the universe contemplates beauty, it imagines the silhouette of, of the mantis. Oh, I'm um, sorry, lost in my thoughts. Have you found any bugs yet? Because I'll buy any kind, any kind. Oh, and if you want to commission a piece of my art, just let me know, okay, bye. <laughs> I got a bug to sell. Um, I have two, I have the drone beetle and the flea. Here you go. It's not really a swarm, but <laughs> 405 bells, I'll gladly sell it to you. It didn't take too much work to get this stuff, so yeah, there we go. I like how his shirt's a little ladybug. That's cute. Uh, anyways, let's go talk to Biff, because we haven't talked to him yet today. We have a lot of like big and strong villagers between Rolf, uh, Biff, and Lionel. I, oh, and he's crafting something, which means he's gonna talk about the time he was like jogging on his 53rd mile. Sandy Beach flooring. All right, yep, okay, so we've heard all this. Uh, yes, what? Oh, uh, do I already have this one? Actually, you know what would be really cool if everyone could make some Sandy Beach flooring. Your tape is just being shared around. So I guess we already have this one, but we can give it to somebody else. Oh, uh, and ignore the sweat stains. Those aren't part of the recipe. You're sure. Um, but let me just make extra sure. Learn, yep, okay. So I will definitely either sell that or give it to somebody. We'll just sort of see what option comes up first. So, um, what do we got going on around here? It looks like not too much in the moment. We're still looking for the message in a bottle. And we got some coral, aha, here's the message in the bottle. I will gladly take that. And that is going to be uh, would you believe an amazing DIY recipe simply popped into my mind as I was enjoying a cup of tea? Now I find myself compelled to share this recipe with, with others. Please, bring this recipe to life. Fair, fairway wishes, Friga. Friga? I'm not sure, coconut juice? Fancy. I'm guessing it's you know, like a coconut that's like cut open, you can drink the juice out of it with a straw or something. And we got a lot of shells waiting on the beach today, so definitely take this opportunity. It's just you know easy money, I suppose. They're all just sitting here waiting for us. Oh, and there was another fossil spot, finally. It takes us a while to find those. Inventory is starting to fill up now. But, I know our shovel's probably gonna break soon. Whoop, there we go, fossil number three. And I'm hoping that this is the money rock. Nope, darn, okay, that's fine. We'll keep going at it, we'll get it eventually. Okay, so with that done, we are going to pick it all up, and then we're, we're gonna probably just grab this uh, orange tree, oranges, that'd be nice. Put that away, okay. And I see that Stu is home, but is Celia? Yeah, she is. Might as well swing by their places while we're here. Hello, I'm coming in. Okay. Celia, what do we got going on here? Uh, Celia seems to be relaxing. So happy you're here, Feathers. Uh, I want to chat. This is the most casually I've seen her dressed. It's fascinating. Uh, I'm trying to get to know the community better. That's why I've been going around asking everyone questions lately. I've read that the right questions can reveal someone's personality. With that in mind, what about sports? Are you into any? What watching or playing, I mean. Do you have a favorite? What's my favorite sport? I'd say my favorite sport is probably tennis. I'm not really very involved in tennis. Um, but of course, I've also been partially involved and in, like involved and interested in esports as well. Uh, do you have a favorite? So swimming, tennis, badminton. I'll say tennis. 
Uh, I've never been much good at playing tennis, but match matches are fun to watch. I'm impressed to, by anyone who has the speed and skill to play tennis. I agree. Uh, what's up, Feathers? What's the latest? At home by myself, I'm happiest with a good long book and some iced coffee to drink. Yeah, me, me too. <laughs> I, li I like just like a nice quiet day at home. How can I help you, Feathers? Uh, one more time, let's talk. I was reading uh, a whodunit novel from the library when I found a note sandwiched in between the pages. We have a library? What? I read the note and I was shocked. It was the name of a suspect in the novel. Was he the one who did it? I wasn't sure I believed it, so I kept reading for the, re the rest of the book. Turned out the note was true, Feathers. Oh no, so somebody spoiling people with notes in the book? Or maybe somebody had an inkling that that was, a, was the, uh, the suspect, the, the bad guy, and they just wanted to mark that's when they figured it out. Maybe, maybe not. Either way, you don't want to spoil other people in a good story. Let them come to their own conclusions. That's always nice. Anyways, hi, Stu. How are you? I didn't know you were coming over today, Zebra. What a nice surprise. I want to chat. Uh, someone told me if you wish a sh on a shooting star, your wish will come true. Next time I see one, I'm going to wish to hang out with my bestest snack buddy more often. Oh, but you're right here. And you heard my wish, so maybe it'll come true without the shooting star. Ah, uh, thank you. So, uh, what's up? I wanted to see if, if you'll let me, I'll go ahead and give you the DIY. Oh, what are you giving me? I have, oh, I can't give you the, why not? Maybe he already knows that. Um, fine, I will go ahead and give him an orange. He has a lot of orange stuff around here, so you never know. An orange, yummy, it looks so good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, zebra, I'm gonna lay on the floor and eat that. Might even share it with the bugs. <laughs> I'm glad. Uh, hey, what do you need? Congrats, Zebra, I heard you sold your turnips for a lot of bells. I did. I didn't know what I was supposed to hold on to turnips instead of eating them. That's crazy, Mer. That's a, it's very expensive. <laughs> All right, um, see ya. So there's Stu for the day. I'm glad he's doing well. We still have more oranges to get, and if we see any bugs around, I definitely wanna to try to snag those. So, you know, just for the, you know, chance that Flick might be able to give me some good money for it, so. Definitely worth our while. And over this way, some more oranges. Thank you. And I think, yeah, Apple shouldn't be home. We've already talked to her today and she's already out enjoying the rain. Aha, another one of these. These beetles are just very common right now. I guess it just happened a lot during the rain or something or a certain time of day. I'm not really sure. But they seem to be all over the place. Yeah, we didn't see any new fish or bugs really yet last episode, which was the first day we played in June. So I was expecting a lot because it is now no longer spring, it's summer. And yeah, there's just sort of like a sort of disappointingly big lack of things happening in the season change. Maybe I'm wrong. Like maybe the summer doesn't start yet. I mean, I know that in reality, in like the real life, I don't think uh, summer actually begins until like June 22nd or something like that, if I'm not wrong. Um. But I know, I think in the game it just switches over for, you know, during the, the month change, but I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah, Rolf isn't home. I don't think Lionel's home, but you I can talk to real quick. Hello, good friend. Uh, yep, 129,000 bells. So yeah, 12,000 bells with the donation. So other people have had to donate as well. Sure, I'll help. Uh, for right now, I'm just gonna donate 25,000. I'll be back to donate more soon. Yep, donate. And what else is going on around here? Do we have any fossil spots waiting for us? Yep, one right here. And this is probably going to be the last fossil of the day, at least on our island. Well, I guess we'll find out. So yeah, with all of that out of the way, let's hop over to here and see if this one last rock has our uh, thing on it. Uh, let's do colorful shovel. Dig that there. And there. Not the money rock, so it must be the one by Gigi's house then, right? Did we ever do the one near Kyle's house? I think so. Oh, there's a gold nugget though. Appreciate that. Okay. So with all of that done, we'll go and get some fossils assessed then. We'll run the long way around though so that we can maybe uh, see that last rock has what we're looking for. Or maybe there's just no money rock today. I don't think that, that we've experienced that. Ah, oh, I scared the bug away. Whoops, not what I wanted. They really are just all over the place. 
No, we definitely did this one. So, yeah, it has to be the one by Kyle's. If not, then I guess there's no Money Rock. Um, I did not do this one. So, let's hope this is it, and let's hope my shovel doesn't break. Yeah, Money Rock, okay. Come on, shovel, don't give up on me now. Oh. And got it. Okay, so we got everything there, very nice. So definitely we'll run back over and donate soon. But for right now, just gotta fill all this up. Perfect, at the 21,000. Now back over here, oh, there's a, uh, a present. I don't know what's gonna be inside of it. We'll have to wait and see because my inventory is actually full at the moment unless I wanna drop something. Let's drop the clay. I don't think it's gonna be a big deal if that were to suddenly disappear. I don't think it will, but uh, what does this have? Uh, iron nuggets, okay. There we go, perfect. So let's go over and talk to Timmy and Tommy. And I also need to check the turnip prices. I'm just curious to see if they will be higher than 436 so I can get like a good gauge on, you know, maybe what the average is, all that kind of stuff. So what are the turnip prices? 99, so if I did it today, I would have only gotten like a five bell um, margin. That would have been very good. Uh, it would have been money. It would have been still just more money made, but would have been a lot of money. Um, oh yeah, that's right, I never got the, the fossils assessed. I'll do that in just a second. There we go. And I guess we'll sell this since we couldn't give it to uh, to Stu. Um, just wasn't giving me the option. Um, 11,000 bells right there, so we've made about 38,000 bells just from running around the town and doing our daily to-do stuff, and we're not quite done because we might make more from the fossils as well. So, Josie, you know, with all this fruit being around, and all the flowers too, we can make a decent turnaround. It's quite nice. And what did we get from Nook Miles here? Um, it was just uh, sell fruit. I sold five fruit, so I made 150 uh, tickets. Catch a diving beetle, and we also have to catch a tadpole. Tadpoles are in the pond, so I'll definitely look around for those. But for right now, I'm not gonna worry about it because I'm gonna be doing a lot of fishing on the beaches, I'm sure. Especially now that we can just send things back without having to leave the island. That's like a new thing that happened. Anyways. Uh, I'm going to have you assess some fossils, if you don't mind. We have four of them. Wait, no, oh darn it, <laughs> whoops. Yep, so we already have these fossils, but what about this last one that I forgot to press? Uh, assess fossils, try again, right here. Oh, the Brachiosco. Quite remarkable indeed, if only I could take it off your hands unless we already have one. Okay, so all duplicates today, little bit of a bummer with that, but we are just going to leave and sell these for hopefully some nice profit. And then we gotta go to the, the uh, town center. I already have a Nook Miles ticket, but maybe I'll just get an extra one. <laughs> keep the one I have in my, uh, I was gonna say keep the one I have in my storage for a rainy day, but it is a rainy day. Just we have so much miles, I don't know if it's really worth, you know, going out of my way to get the one in the storage if I could just get a new one right now. I'll be using them all sooner or later. One more time, guys, I gotta sell some stuff to you. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to sell you the Brachio Skull, Sabertooth Tail, Packy Tail, and Megacero Skull. And that is 16,000 bells, so basically an average of 4,000 each, pretty cool. See, we made some good cash today, just from the daily things. What was it, like 38 and then plus 16 is like 44, 54? Yeah, okay. So I added the six and then I added the 10 <laughs> for 16,000. Um, so yeah, about 50,000-ish bells made in today's episode so far, and I'm sure more once we uh, get to everything on the different islands. Uh, for right now though, let's see what's happening here. Do we have any cool stuff? We don't. We should be getting like 75 miles or something. 80 miles, there we go. So, redeem Nook Miles, I'm just gonna redeem and take it right now. Just like that. Yep, gets us down to 46,000. That's that's still plenty. I'm thinking that if we reach 50,000 and it doesn't seem like we're changing too much, I might end up spending like a good chunk of it, like maybe like 20 or 30,000 tickets just on the golden bell exchange. Maybe, or maybe I should just buy out everything that I haven't bought yet, you know? Um, that might also be something worth considering. So like any of these, uh, recipes, these DIY things that I haven't gotten yet. I should get those. Um, and maybe some of these as well, seeing how I haven't. That would actually stack up quite quickly. Yeah, for sure. I don't know if I really need any of this stuff though. I don't know, it just might be worth it for like completionist's sake. 
All right then, so let's get a milk shopping. See if there's anything new here. I don't think there will be too much more than an electric kick scooter. I want that, but do I need it? Yeah, it looks so cool. There we go. We could probably put that in our room somewhere. Um, And then DJ KK, I don't have this one for sure. That is a weird cover. I definitely don't have. And there is more now. So we have some of these, we don't have others. I don't remember which ones we do have and which ones we don't. We definitely don't have Rolf, so let's go ahead and place an order for that. Um, we have Pashmina, we don't have Lionel. Um, I don't think we have Kyle. I like that one, just posing over the city like that. Uh, Gigi, we definitely don't have. Wait, what? Ah, oh, you're only limited to five per day. Okay. Um, that sort of stinks. Um, and we have all this. Okay, we're in the clear for that then. I'm going to stuff some stuff away in my uh, inventory and then we'll go off to a new island. Oh, also Pashmina's out. We haven't talked to her, so let's let's chat with her. Yo, Zebra, how you doing, kidders? Let's talk. Some days I get myself super hyped, like uh, just ready and raring to go. Uh, to take a nap, kidders. <laughs> I get ya. Uh, stop doing that. What are you doing? No, just talk to her. There we go. Still got more to say? Just wanna chat. Uh, what's with this nearly creepy ultra grin you were wearing yesterday, kidders? What are you talking about? Hmm, you were staring at your phone a bunch. Did you get a huge batch of Nook Miles? I guess I did, I mean, we did earn a lot and everyone keeps mentioning it. I don't know how they know. Like, who's who's sharing this information? <laughs> Anyways, now I'll go ahead and put away my stuff and um, see if we can't just go to a new island. Okay, so here we are at an island. Um, I'll be holding a pattern here, get in touch when you need tools or travel, go catch some bees and chop some trees. So, like I said in the last episode, we found out that there's like a new thing going on. Oh, look at the weeds, they're definitely different now. They're like little cattails almost, that's cool. Um, but, one thing that is different with the most recent update, I guess, is that you can actually send things back free of charge without having to leave the island. So we have no excuse not to collect like every single thing now. Um, so I'll definitely be trying to do that. All the weeds, all the fruit, all the everything. I mean, the flowers might end up getting a little tedious, but if it's all gonna be shipped to me, like I don't see the problem with it, you know? So yeah, definitely I'll try to take all that. Um, and we'll just sort of see how it goes. Uh, you can also sell them straight to Wilbur, but that will be at um, like a, a lesser price. But if that doesn't matter to you and you just want direct funds, you know, that could be good. But I don't, I don't mind a little bit of extra labor of running back and forth from the shop with all my new stuff. So I'll definitely be doing that. Lots of fish around too, which I'm very excited for. I'm hoping that we might see a new villager here. If not, I might end up going to more than one island today. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, this is the main one I'm focusing on for right now. Okay, I guess I'll be grabbing some hyacinths for right now. <laughs> right now, I'm actually just mostly focused on um, the weeds because we can definitely bring those home and sell them for 20 each, so that's always good. Anyways, getting some of this uh, and the sticks too. We'll run around and get the rocks soon enough as well. And maybe we wanna hold on to the bugs, cause I'm pretty sure if we ship things back through Dodo Airlines, I'm going to guess that we won't be able to access them until the next day. So if we wanna actually sell things back to Flick, we're gonna want to, um, we're going to want to uh, hold on to those specifically. I mean, there's not too many bugs around right now. I do see this little uh, yellow butterfly. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> Took a couple of attempts, but we got it. Yellow butterfly. And let's keep it going. And we'll definitely try fishing a little bit here too. But I'm going to worry about that in a moment. There we go. I guess we can start hitting this rock now too, but it doesn't look like there's a villager here. So I definitely will be going to a new island. Okay, nothing too crazy with this one. It looks like there is another uh, tiger butterfly over that way. Nothing that we haven't seen before, but if we can sell it for extra, we might as well, right? Lots of tiny little fish, though. I'll definitely be going for those in a moment. In the meantime, though, if I could uh, catch this guy, oh, before he gets away. Ah, uh, oh, darn, okay. Maybe I could make my way from over here. The butterfly's turning around, though. Oh, uh, they make everything so complicated, but I got the butterfly. That's good. All right, tiger butterfly. Ooh, whoop. and we got the pond skater. Cool. Ah, don't scare away the fish. Be careful with that. 
And I guess we should grab some oranges. How did you see me from here? That's a little too far. Grab some of this though, no problem. So I think we've gotten most of the weeds so far. How many are we up to already? 50, cool. Because remember, we can sell those for 20 each. So that's already a um, thousand bells right there that we just caught or just you know earned up once, once we uh, get leaf in town again. Don't know when that's gonna be, but whenever it is, it'll go well because we, we've been collecting a lot of weeds you know, every time we go to islands, just waiting for leaf to show up. So yeah, that'll be good. In the meantime though, we got all this. And I'm waiting for my shovel to break like any moment now. I'm sure it's gonna happen sooner or later. Okay. Very nice. And I think we're good to hop on to this side. Whoop. And I saw a nice little bee down this way. Definitely want to get you. Whoop. Oh, I missed. Try again. There we go. Oh, there's a nice little fossil spot here. Wow, okay. That's uh, uncommon, to say the least. I don't really see that very often at all. I think if we've only seen this once before, that's not what I wanted. Here we go. On another island. Uh, there we go, cool. So we'll definitely, oh, there goes my shovel. I've been waiting for that though. And guess what I bought in preparation? No, that's not what I wanted, darn it. Uh, I bought another shovel before we left, so yeah. We're good, we're in the clear. Let me hold this and move it over though. We also have more than one fishing rod, so that's good. Uh, let's get that there. And pick that up, pick up a stick, pick up some fruit. Really just get to work with everything. Plenty to sort of make the most of on this island, and I'm just trying to do my best with that. There we go, and got it. And there's also some shells too. I'll take them, why not? If I could just send it all back, you know, like hassle free, I really have no no real excuse to not like do as much as I can. That's not what I wanted. Uh, that's also not what I wanted. Okay, uh, this one's a little weird. I guess here is a good place to dig. So you would think that if you could find a fossil spot on an island like this, it wouldn't be too much out of the realm of possibility that one of these rocks could be a money rock, right? Who knows? Ooh, that uh, blue butterfly is coming over. I might wanna grab you real quick. Thank you. So there's a uh, common blue bottle. So I will definitely be grabbing all of this. Okay, out of my way, beep beep. And how is our inventory doing? Actually, it's fine. It really is not doing that bad. So we will continue to catch more bugs and stuff. And what else do we got going on? Oh, oh, I scared you away. But I guess we got the coconuts off of that one. We did not overhear though. So definitely let's get back over there and make the most of that. Another bug, that stink bug. And then there's another one of the, um, whatever these are called. Oh, that really picking that up scares it away. That's a little much, don't you think? And then over this way, um, I did miss a couple of things. I keep on doing that. I gotta get the bugs first, I suppose, or it'll just scare everybody away. But after I get these two hyacinths, I can um, dig at this one rock and then I think we're basically all wrapped up there. Um, we can tell Wilbur to put some of the stuff away and then we can mostly just go fishing and bug catching until our inventory is all full of bugs, I suppose. Um, Cause those are the only things I won't send back. I think that's a pretty good order of operation. So if not anything else, we can take, you know, make the most of Flick, but I hope that we can find um, a new villager today. That would be really cool. It would have me happy at the least. So running back now. Oh, there's another butterfly. Gotcha. And Wilbur should be right over here. So let's see how this works. Bell bottom new uh, new wave. Uh, this is stovetop wall count. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Do you require assistance over? Um. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought he was just saying in general, maybe I'm wrong. Cause Wilbur was talking about that last episode. I thought he meant just in general. Is that only for Harv's Island? Oh no, okay, so I guess I am wrong with some of that. Never mind. <laughs> Whoops. Oh no, he, the way he explained that. Because like, why would I want to sell things on Harv's Island? 
That doesn't make any sense. Okay, weird. Um, note taken. That offer only stands on Harv's Island, which really, really does not make any sense. Anyways, that means we still have a couple of inventory slots to sell some things. I don't need one red hyacinth in our inventory, you know? Um, so I'll leave it like that for now. That is definitely a shame. I just don't understand what would be the perk to selling, or to, to selling things on Harv's Island, why would you bring things? I don't know, like that's, that's just weird. Anyways, um, we got a fishing rod here. Now I feel silly, but I don't know. I feel like he made it really obvious and it ended up not being so obvious. Come on now. Got it. Whoa, this is new. Yes, I caught a tilapia. It makes me happy. <laughs> All right, well, that's at least something, getting a new fish right there. Very cool. And that's why I definitely wanted to, you know, start going to these islands and seeing what new stuff we can find. Oh, that was right away. I was not expecting that. Okay, this time I'm ready for you. Come on now. That scared the other fish away, unfortunately. It's a tire. Come on now. Not good. Uh... More fish over this way, though. One of these has to be like another cool thing, right? That's why I definitely have to check. I have to check the wiki to see what new fish are available. Um, I mean, I'm not in a huge rush. It's still the very beginning of June, so I have plenty of time. It's another one, the tilapia. The tilapia are very pretty fish. I like, like the purple hue to their fins. And if I have the chance, I should also catch more bugs. Just to make Flick happy. Take that opportunity while we have it, right? Um, so unless we want to get rid of something here, which I think our inventory is actually looking pretty good, um, I can like catch one more bug or something. Whoop, oh, come, come on, come back. Maybe, maybe I should get a fish then? I don't know, I guess so. I would like to get one of these smaller ones, because they have a good chance of being something new, right? I hope. Come on now. There it is. It's a can, really? I mean, I don't want to just throw it back out. Is there a way to, nah, no, that's not what I wanted. Um, yep, there we go. Is there a way to trash things in my inventory? No. Nah. I know Stardew Valley has that, doesn't it? Um, anyways, I guess that's all we're getting. I'm gonna skedaddle now. Hello. Uh, bell bottom surf rock. This is stove top tambourine now. It was not tambourine before. I'm ready to go home. Yep. I really wish I could just sell you my stuff, but I can't. Anyways, yeah, with that being done, we are going to, uh, what is it called? We're, we're just gonna sell back to Flick. We'll sell the rest of the stuff to the uh, Nook's Cranny. We'll see how much money that makes us. And then we'll go back out as soon as I can. I'll go back out so that we can um, just try to find a new villager. That's sort of my main goal now, is just see if we can't find an island that would feature a new villager or a new fruit. Either one would make me happy. All right, well, where's Flick at? He's gotta be around somewhere. Oh, hey, what's up, Apple? Urgh, I got a stain on my fave outfit. Oh, that stinks. Zebra, what do you do when things are just the worst? Well, this is what I do. Some folks call it pouting, but I say it's me telling the world to quit being mean. Anywho, using aggravation can def make you feel better. See, I'm all good now, cheekers. Self-expression is important. There we go. I learned the aggravation reaction. Ah. Uh. All right, well, cool. We're in a new reaction. Thank you for that. Ooh, what is this? That's fancy. I gotta be able to drop something here. Maybe that I'll just pick up later. For right now, we'll drop a clam, because, you know, it's not out of place here. What is this? Summer shell. I've never seen that. I, I, I wish we could donate shells, but you can't. Oh, and then there's a balloon falling on in. I need to sell my stuff. I can't do all this. I don't have enough inventory space. Okay, give it some time. I still haven't found Flick. He's gotta be around. He wanders around a lot though, so who knows. Um, there we go. 
Oh yeah, that's right, my inventory's full. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's just swap it for another shell. And like I said, I'll come back for these. Uh, Venus comb. And what is this gonna be? A mama panda. Don't we have one of these? I think we do. I'll keep it for now. But uh, yeah, let's get up into uh, Nook's Cranny until I find Flick. And we'll sell all the non-bug stuff at the least, right? Um, that'll be at least something. Uh, so, yep, I want to sell. And I am selling uh, this conch, this summer shell, coconuts, oranges, hyacinths of all kinds, no bugs. But um, one of the tilapias, the other one I need to donate. Okay. Um, that's good for me. And I also think of the fossil assessed anyway. So 6,800, not too much money, but maybe once we sell um, the bugs, that'll stack up a little bit and this fossil, that will be cool. Uh, but yeah, let's just go over and do that now too. Yeah, I guess we're working on with the five fossils today, which is, you know, better than four. That's for sure. So yeah, lots of stuff getting done today. We still have a whole nother island to go to though. Try to get a villager there. Uh, so, yep, 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 assess fossils. Uh, right there. Let's see if it's something good. Left Quetzal wing. We already have one. Okay, sort of was expecting it. You never know though. Okay, lastly, make a donation. We got a tilapia right here. Cool. Um, yeah, tell me about the tilapia a little bit. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Wherever the waters are warm, tilapia can be found. It is a highly adaptable river fish. They mainly feed on algae, but they will also eat larvae and dead fish, or whatever fits in their mouths. I will confess that as a growing owlet, I similarly define food as anything that fits in my beak. And there you have it. All right then, so there is that. I'm going to go look around for Flick and we'll sell him some bugs. I have literally circled the island like three times to find him. I don't know how it took me so long, but I, I also caught more along the way. Um, just looking around to the point where my, um, my neck gave out. So I should have a good chunk for him. Um, yep, most of like the same bugs over and over again, but there we go. <laughs> so hopefully it gives me at least like, I don't know, like 10,000, that'd be cool. I don't know if it's gonna be 10,000. Yeah, half that actually, yikes. So just, bugs just don't pay very much is the sort of the problem. Like they just don't pay on average as much as a fish does. But I'm glad we gave a good chunk to um, Flick today. Um, that was fun. If there's one more thing I wanna do in today's episode, like I said, I have to go to that island. To do that though, I'm going to sell this fossil. Um, it's probably just gonna be like 4,000 bells. And then I have to put, put away some stuff I have in my inventory and then we're just gonna go out back to another island right away. Okay, so let's hope that there's a new villager here. If not, so be it. This is just gonna be the last one we do for today because um, this episode is actually getting quite long. Um, I don't know how much we're gonna do here besides you know, get like the weeds and stuff, maybe if there's fruit. Um, if there's a couple of bugs, maybe, but I'm not super crazy about it. Um, I probably won't get the flowers, except for the ones that I pick up accidentally, of course. Um, we'll just look around and see what we can get done. You know, the uh, the weeds are definitely worth it. I think we have about 400 weeds in our storage at the moment, and we'll just keep on trying to stack that up. And then we'll just fill up the rest of our inventory with fish. That sounds good to me. It's probably the most cost-effective way to do it, too. Any extra money we have by the end of today's episode, I'm still gonna be putting towards the bridge, so that's always good. Anyways, we're already good to get up this way. Yep, just like that. And we'll see how things go. Grabbing some of these. Dude, there's a lot of weeds on this island specifically, but I'm still not seeing any new villagers, so I guess the game just doesn't want me to find any today. Yeah, usually you'll know because it'll be like a campsite or something. Uh, I didn't mean to pick up the rocks. There's definitely a couple of things I'll be dropping soon. But it is interesting that one of the major changes I've noticed with the uh, season shifting is literally just that the weeds look different. It's, it's just such a weird thing. I'm sure that summer to fall is gonna be a much bigger change, you know, then the, you know, the leaves will start getting orange um, and just like the colors of everything will change a lot more. And then in winter, obviously, it'll probably be snowing or something. So yeah, not much of a change this time, but maybe one day. Uh, we'll see a little bit more. There we go. Trying to grab what I can. 
I always like these views though, of just like the, the never ending water except for a couple of islands in the distance. Wonder which one is ours. Who knows? Okay, so. Yeah, that's about everything for this part of the island, the upper part. So yeah, let's just go ahead and pick up some of this. But yeah, no, no villager this time. We've been having a hard time getting villagers because you know we had the campsite visitor uh, last episode with the episode before that. Um, yeah, I think it was the episode before that. But we couldn't invite her to our island. She just she was too busy with her own stuff. So maybe the game. Oh, you know what? I know what it is. We don't have any new place set up for them. I forgot about that part. <laughs> Whoops, okay, so we'll do that today as well because I keep for I just I forgot Sorry, uh, so that's probably why we don't see any new villagers pop up. Um, that's fine So we will just do that by then today's episode live and learn right? I mean, maybe that means that we'll just find a villager that we haven't seen yet that will absolutely adore That would be really cool um, But for right now, let's go ahead and set all of this up or to take this from being set up I guess Okay, and I think that's about all the fruit and everything. We can vault over this way real quick. Shake this tree up a little bit. And then this is the last little bit of it. So it might be like one last coconut tree I forgot to shake. And then we're just gonna go fishing for the rest of it to fill up our inventory. Hopefully find new fish. That's what I'm really looking for. Um, yep, we did not get these coconuts. Cool, and a message in a bottle. Not bad. I'll gladly take it. Be another island where we just don't get any new fruit. A little frustrating, but I did what I could about it. Um, to a friend I've yet to meet. I thought this DIY recipe while I was waiting for my oven to heat up. Why does that take so long? I don't want to waste a good idea, so now I'm sharing this with you. My recipe is yours to try now. I like this little uh, uh, letter type. Good luck, B. Grass skirt, fancy. Alrighty then, so huh, okay. So yeah, I learned a DIY recipe for a grass skirt. Um, I'm going to drop these and also drop the rock. And now, all we're gonna do for the rest of today is go fishing, so. Might be best to get up this way then. And just sort of take a look at what's around the rivers and stuff. River and pond fishing are my main two goals here. Because they just seem to be like very heavily populated on the islands, because we have a lot. I don't know if we'll fill up all of it, because that will take us some time. I just want to spend a little bit longer catching some fish. That would be fun. Um, but it's already been a pretty long episode. You know, I'm just trying to get a lot done. Um, okay, got a little uh, pale chub. That's cool. Any other fish on this? Actually, not many fish around, so I don't know. We'll keep going. What do we got here? Fishing rod. Um, let's get this. I don't know if this counts as a river or as a pond. Maybe a little bit of both. Okay, got a bluegill. Nothing new yet. Oh, but it looks like we got nook moths. I think that's for just catching five fish, so I'm glad to get that out of the way. Okay. And that is a crucian carp. So let's see our nook miles. Yeah, we haven't caught a tadpole. I would love to, but we just haven't seen that. Um. And yeah, nothing else daily except for getting that and planting a fruit tree, which I'll try to do. Okay, so here's some more fish. This one's a little bit bigger, so it could be something new. And I do have a backup fishing rod, so if we do run out, we should be fine with that. But this should make us some better cash, I would hope. Even though we've already made quite a lot of money today just through all the fruit and stuff, so that's good to see. There we go. Okay, so it's another tilapia. I'm glad to have it, we'll sell it, but not anything new. Whoop. There we go. Okay, and then we'll go for that little one over that way. That is another crucian carp. These guys are all over the place. Oh, is he gonna see that? Uh, maybe? He moves a little bit farther. Oh no, he went the other way. That's fine. I can make that work. Come on, turn a little bit. There it is. Come on now, you can do it. Let's go. It's a rock. <laughs> Great. So let's jump over the, with the vaulting pole. I actually don't see too much here. Yeah, there's like, usually there's a lot more fish than this in these rivers, but this one just doesn't have too many. Whoop. 
Are you going to get that or do I need to turn it? I don't think he's going to get that. Maybe try that is way too far. Okay, hold on. He's changing his mind. He wants to go back to the waterfall. Please just land right in front of him. There we go. Oh, okay. Almost lost that. And it is a... Oh, this is new. I caught a nipple fish. Come to think of it, I could use a bite. <laughs> Interesting. So that's a new fish. Let's go down this way then. I don't know how far this will actually go, but if it could get this fish's attention, that'd be great. Come on, just a little bit farther. Oh, it doesn't go any farther than that, though. Okay, we might have to go down. That's fine. But yeah, very cool that we got a new fish, at the least one new one. A nibble fish. Now these are, I don't know if they're river fish or ocean fish, but they're going to be caught fish in a moment. Okay, hopefully something new. It's a bluegill. Oh, and this big one just popped up. Ah, oh, there goes my fishing rod. Like I said, I should have a replacement. Um, Right over, or maybe, no I do. Okay, I was gonna say, or maybe I don't, but I do. So where did this guy go? I can't quite see him. Maybe I'll leave it be then and go for this one who's been just sort of chilling out over here. I don't know if I can reach him. I might have to jump over to the other side. Oh, no, 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 there we go. Come on now. What do we get? Another bluegill. Okay. Let's go for this guy then, if I can. Oh, right away, right away. I can't even see what it is. It's another tilapia. I don't know, we're doing a decent job filling up the inventory, so maybe we can do it. If we keep up at this rate, it should be fine. Let's get this guy. Right away, come on. Oh, not quite. Some of them like to take their time. And it is a red snapper. Who else do we got around here? Oh, we have this little guy. Not gonna be a tadpole, but it might be something. Come on. Okay. Oh, okay, we haven't gotten one of you in a while. It is a butterfly fish. Anybody in this little river? Not quite, Not, it's more like a little pond. Oh, let's move that over a little bit. I wonder if this counts as pier fishing. I mean, it's right by the pier, you would think. Okay, I was gonna say, don't turn away from that. Come on, come on. It is a horse mackerel. Nothing new there. Aha, here we go. But yeah, it has been fun, you know, doing the, uh, the you know, just in, enjoying the new, not event, but holiday, new season, that's what it is. And also, you know, there was an event going on last episode. I really do hope there's more, but I don't think there's gonna be anything more this month, seeing how that, the wedding season lasts, like the entire month of June. But I am curious to see what they might end up doing for July. Because from what I've heard, they there was an interview with one of the developers and they said that they were going to be trying to push out, you know, updates like that for the next couple of years. So hopefully, you know, throughout the years, we'll be able to uh, enjoy more and more Animal Crossing updates with more stuff. There's a zebra turkey fish! Yay! Awesome. And what do we got over this way? Any more fish? Not over here. Okay, so let's check out the pond. Not too much, but I guess in that time they've reoccupied the river. Good to see it. So we'll take advantage of that. First, get this little fish. There we go. Come on, one more time, one more time. Yeah. And then what about, okay, there's a pond skater, which is cool and everything, but not really what I'm looking for. I think we'll go over this way, so we can get this guy and the other one. Come on now. So what is this? Oh, it is another pale chub. They're just everywhere, aren't they? Uh, nope, you turned, you, you just look the other way, not interested, mm-mm. There you go. Just don't scare away the other one. These guys just go right at it, though. There's another nibbler, nibble fish. Come 
Come on. And that is a uh, Crucian Carp. I always want to call that one the Horse Mackerel. Not what it is. See, actually, we turned this around pretty quickly. I didn't think we were going to fill our inventory up so quickly like this. Um, Not what I wanted. This is probably just another Tilapia, like last time. Oh, come on, that was sort of lame. It didn't look like he was gonna go for it, and then he did. Oh well. Let's head back down there. And see what kind of fish we can get. Nothing up this way. But there should be one, a couple actually, right here. Let's see if we can catch one without scaring away the other. Once again, they immediately sink it. It is another, no wait, that's new, right? Rainbow fish. Where's my pot of goldfish? Yeah, we found that a few episodes ago, I guess. That's cool to see. Um, okay, let's try to get you now. Ooh. And this is gonna be another rainbow fish, two in a row, pretty cool. That means we can catch about five more fish. So I'll use the pole vaulting for right now to get over this way. Aha, here we go. Probably a sea bass or a red snapper. Those are two like most common things that we can find that are this size in the ocean. There we go. Yep, red snapper. Sorta of, kinda of caught it. And here's a smaller one. The smaller ones, like there's a bigger variety of what it can be, but I'm not expecting anything new. I mean, I wonder, now that summer, I wonder what our chances are to find things like sharks. That's, I know that was definitely a thing in some of the older Animal Crossing games. You could always tell because it was like a fin poking out. Um, I wonder if that's gonna be here, or maybe that might just be later in the summer. It might be in July or something. That would be really cool. There was a fish there. Um, this one's tiny, so it could be a seahorse, something like that. I don't know if they disappear from the month of May or not. There we go. Oh, right away. What's it gonna be? It's a rock. Why does it have to be a rock? Did I ever drop the other rock? I didn't, so. Let's drop both of those. So I guess I will have actually four slots for more fish. That's cool. I thought it might have been something new. Nope. Something we've seen quite a lot of. Rocks. Okay, so let's just toss this over to you. You should definitely see that. There he goes. He just wasn't paying attention for a second. This is a big fish, but I'm pretty sure that just means it's a sea bass or red snapper. We're gonna find out together though. It is a sea bass. Okay. And this is very likely just another one, about the same size. Actually, maybe slightly smaller, so probably a red snapper. Right away though. Nope, sea bass, gotcha. And of course, there is some fish back up on the river. So one more time, I guess, we'll be able to hop up this way. Maybe I'll get up to the tippity top. Just like this. Okay. <laughs> Let's just finish filling up our inventory then. There we go, come on, little fishy. Yeah, awesome. And it's another Crucian Carp. These guys are everywhere. And there goes our fishing rod. Okay, the game is telling us that we're done. Um, even though we have a little bit more inventory slot, I'm gonna leave it be. Just gonna leave it be. Uh, it's not too much. We literally have space for one more fish, so. We didn't miss out on too much. Um, I'm basically now just going to head back to Timmy and Tommy's. We're gonna sell those fish. We're going to uh, buy a new fishing rod, and then we will set up a new house location, and then finally pay off the bridge. That would be cool. So selling everything except for one nibble fish, because I do need to donate that. Um, but for right now, 17,950 bells, that is a nice little reward there. So definitely still most financially viable just to fill our inventory up with mostly fish. <laughs> um, if it was fruit, that would be even better, but you can only do that so much. Um, so yeah, just buy a quickly, a real quick a replacement fishing rod. Like how this one has a little rubber ducky bobber. And then like I said, we're gonna do everything else that we needed to do. We need to buy a housing plot from Nook. We need to pay off more of the, uh, what is it called? We need to pay off more of the bridge. We can't pay off the entire thing, but we can get quite close. So 
definitely just looking to doing all that. So over this way, town center. I don't even know where I'm setting this up exactly. This house plot, that was sort of another big problem is I just don't quite have the space for it just yet. Um, but we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Anyways, uh, hey there. Uh, ah, Zebra, hello, hello. This is the Construction Consultation Center. How can I help you? Um, let's talk infrastructure real quick. Um, sell some land. Maybe I'll just put this somewhere else for now. Like, I'll, like I don't know. Um, then where I was thinking, I was thinking of putting it near Roth Lionel's house, but I don't know if there's enough room around there. But I can't put it on the tippity top because I don't have a slant. So maybe I'll just put it in that one area where there are a lot of uh, trees. Um, near like the, the corner of the island where Gigi's house is. That might be the best spot. Or maybe I could put it on the other side of the bridge since I'm working on that now. Um, okay, so yeah, I'll give that a go. We have the housing plot, so that's good. It's been a lot of work today, but I feel like, you know, we made some good progress, uh, just chipping away at different stuff, just making more money. Um, you know, that's always what I'm trying to make the most of. But I know that it is sort of starting to get this point where it feels a little bit like uh, tedious work, and I'm sorry about that. I don't know if I should start playing the game a little bit more off camera or not. You guys can always let me know. Um, I mean, I suppose there's enough room here. I feel like we wouldn't be able to make their house very decorated, though and that's always something I'm trying to focus on. So I think that, you know what, we'll put it over here. Just like this, right over this way. I know it's gonna get rid of some trees, that's not a big deal. Um, build the housing kit, right there, yep. Uh, this is the spot, I don't even need to imagine it. I know what it's gonna be looking like. So there we go, awesome stuff. And that means I wanna do one last thing for today. It is going to be going over to you and just giving you as much money as I can, or at least until I have 5,000 bells left over. So 51,420, obviously. Well, actually that will, well no, we currently have 30,000, 37,000. So we still need, this will be more than half of what's left though. So sure, I'll help. Um, 51,420. Yep, donate. And how much is left then? Yep, yep, yep. Our goal is 129,000. So we need 40,000 bells. I'll try to make the rest of that um, in the next episode. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.